What's going on guys, my name is JJ, or I can my channel today, and welcome to Pokemon Eevees Fully Explained. Now, I'm going to be trying to do my best um, to explain to you what Pokemon Eevees are, what they do, um, and how they can benefit you. So, um, so yeah, so straight up here though, um, I tried using my own information, my own personal knowledge of Pokemon Eevees in this video, as well as any information I can learn myself. So, um... I've included information I got off a website, uh, which is PokemonDatabase.net. Um, that link will be in the description below. So they literally have, when looking at a Pokemon game, Pokedexes, gym battles, they literally have everything you need to know, like for the in-game part of Pokemon. Um, so, so they're very helpful. So if any of this does confuse you, go to their website, um, and hopefully on their website, help to clear up any other little things you may be stuck on. So straight on to this then, what are EVs? EVs are effort values. Um, effort values is an additional feature you receive after a battle. This along with EXP, EXP levels up your Pokemon whereas EVs is what strength strengthens your Pokemon. Every 4 EVs you gain, that will make plus 1 onto a stat. So say your attack is 44, um, you've got like I say like a level 7 uh, Chimchar or something, and he's got 44 attack. Um, now, if you're EV training it in attack, and you get four EVs for attack, that'll put it instead of 44, it'll put it up to 45. It'll give it plus one onto the stat that you've been EV training on. The maximum you can have on one stat is 252. That's not the number 252. So once your Pokemon gets say 252 attack and just stops. That's how much you can increase it by, which is 63 points. So um, you could you can EV train a level 7 Chimchar to have like 100 attack. Um, although that's pretty much impossible. Um, that's what they're kind of saying is um, the, you can just increase your Pokemon like that. Across all your stats, um, you can have 510 EVs um, for your Pokemon. Um, now you're probably a little confused by that. So I'm just going to show you an example on the screen right now. Um, I'll do a live commentary whilst doing that battle, and I'll be back with you in a minute, back on this video. Right, so I'm in a battle here on Platinum. Um, I'm doing Platinum just because it's quite easy for me to record. Um, and yeah, so um, i just gone to this route, it's near um, Pastora C. This is on my um, Let's Play Platinum one by the way. But anyway, um, so I found this level 24 Quash here. Or Quagshire, or whatever you want to call it, um, and its um, EV yield, or what it gives off, is two HP. So if I quickly went here and went to Razor Leaf, and we take out, hopefully, we should do with like quite a lot higher than that. So right there, we've taken out, and we've we've gained XP, and so is Houndoom. And both me and Houndoom have also gained two EVs. Um, Two HP EVs, so that's not bad actually. So um, if you want to EV train there, then um, that's, that might be a good um, good route to go. So I'm just going to quickly on the map here and show you whereabouts I am. This is on um, platinum, just so you can see. I'm here on the map. Um, route two and two, and yeah. So I'll see you guys now back in the video. Okay, and you're back. So now I'm going to be explaining how to EV train. What is the best Pokemon to EV train with for each stat? Um, so yeah, let's begin. So for HP, there would be Nido Queen, Clefable, Wigglytuff, Azumarill, Blissey, Slacking, Explode Lead, Wolverine, Licky Licky, and Cells Metode. Um, for attack, um, there's a lot more on attack. So if I accidentally um. So I'm doing this on PowerPoint by the way, just so that yeah. So if I do um go over, sorry. So we've got attack for Nido King, Machamp, Victory Bell, I think that's Victory Bell, Dragon Knight, Tyranitar, Blaziken, Swampert, Shiftry, Salamance, Staraptor, Luxray, Garchomp, Electivire, Mouseswine, Glade, Emboa, Stoutland, Unpheasant, Gigalift, Concluder, Livani, I think that's Livani, Electoros, Hexorus, okay. That's all the ones for attack then. Um, if you want to pause it as well on each screen, so you can just have a quick look, see if you've got any or you know where to find it in any of those. Um, go ahead. So for defense, we've got Polyrath, Golem, Agron, Metagross, 
Kink Lang. Okay, says so those. Those five. <clears throat> Special attack with Charizard. Villapune. So, yeah, sorry. So, well, just for those who are new to my channel, I'm terrible at pronunciations. I should mention this at the start, so, um, that's what I've got on the screen as well. I should put pictures as well, but I've got the, um, names on the screen, but yeah. Just to let you know, my, um, my um, names, name pronunciation is horrific. Alexam, Gengar, Typhlosion, Ampharos, Butterfly, Gardevoir, Empoleon, Rose Raid, Magnezone, Magmortar, Porygon Z, um, Samurott, Reniculus, Vani, I don't know, <laughs> it's the ice cream one, um, Chandler, Hydrogen, okay, so they're fully special attack. Special Defense, Blastoise, Bellossom, Politoed, Slow King, Dustox, Ludicolo, Gorlifolite. That's it for Special Defense. And for Speed, Pidgeot, Raichu, Crobat, Jumpluff, Skeptile, um, Superior, I think, um, Scolipede, okay, and Scolipede. Now, with all of these that I've just mentioned, um, from HP, Speed, um, all the ones I've just gone through. Um, they're all plus three if you take them out. So if, say, for instance, I took out a Pidgeot in a battle, the Pokemon I took out would get plus three speed EV, um, and obviously four. So again, um, four EV means plus one speed. So taking out two Pidgeots means I've got plus one EV for speed, and then a few left over ready for next time. That's how it works. All of the Pokemon I've just gone through are all plus three. Um, that sounds difficult. It does sound difficult because they're uh, mainly third of all forms of Pokemon. So many Thunderstones or um, Evolution Stones. Some need to be traded to battle them. So you could find they're very hard to find to battle. Um, so that could be difficult to EV train against them. So this is what I'm going to go through now the alternate ways of um, EV training your Pokemon up. So, Vitamins. Vitamins can be used to raise EVs. There is an, a limit, unfortunately, though. So, the limit is 10 per stat, also to add on to that as well, um, that's only for the for 100 EVs. So, if say for instance you've been EV training up a Chimchar, I'll just use Chimchar as my example, I don't know why, it's the first one that comes to mind. And you've been EV training up and it's got 50, 50 EVs, um, you can only use then 5 um, vitamin items to raise its EV up, because that will raise it up to 100. Um, so that's kind, of, that's kind of a shame, because um, then you could just EV train your Pokemon up to 250, then use the vitamins, um, but you can't unfortunately. So if you are going to use vitamins, try and make the most of them and start them off early, um, early when you first get your Pokemon. Um, they are very expensive, um, costing 9,800 Poke Dollars or one battle point um, at the um, Battle Frontier or Battle Park, wherever you go. Um, these are what they look like. We've got HP up, protein, iron, calcium, zinc, and carbos. HP up raises HP, protein raises attack, iron raises defense, calcium raises special attack, zinc raises special defense, and carbos raises speed. Next up is wings. Now wings were introduced in Pokemon Black and White. They work the same as vitamins, however they are they are unlimited. So literally, if you have 252 of the same wing. You could use all 252 on the same Pokemon raise. Say, if you have the speed, the speed one, you could raise a Pokemon speed by 252 just by giving them all to one Pokemon. So that's very handy, um, but finding them is a little difficult. And the way you find them is on the picture here. You'll see in front of the character there's a little shadow on the on the um, bridge. It's on Driftfield Drawbridge. And um, you'll see a shadow. You just press on it and you could find a Pokemon. However, I think in that game the shadow could also mean um, a swanner or you can battle a pokemon so it's not guaranteed I don't think you'll find a wing every time and they, and they, and it's the, if you've got a choice well not a choice um, it's one out of six so you could find you can do it seven times and find one of each six wings and have a battle so it could take a long time to get 252 of the same wing but if you have the time and you really want to then I guess you can always try that um, this is what the wings look like, health wing, muscle wing, resistant ring I think, genius wing, clever wing and swift ring, um, wing sorry, um, health wing raises HP, muscle wing raises attack, um, resist wing raises defense, genius wing uh, raises special attack, clever wing raises special defense and swift 
our way. Raise the speed. Uh, now the power items. Um, power items are hold on that increase the amount of EV skin per battle. Each is used for a different stats, so you, um, so you get an increase on each stat on your Pokemon is holding. Um, you can get these for 16 battle points out of the Battle Park or Battle from here. Um, these are what they are. So I'm just going to go for a quick example here. Again, this example is off the um, website Pokemon Database. Um, like I said, the link is below. This is, this is the example they used. Battling, battling a Squirtle, for example, normally yields one defense EV. Holding the, the power belt, um, um, this increases to five. So these um, six things are power belts. Um, if it's holding the power band, um, you receive one defense because that's what um, Squirtle gives off, but um, but four special defense as well. So um, so for instance, then if we did battle Squirtle, it gives us one defense. If we're holding, say, the power weight, it gives us one defense, four. HP and because it's four, I'll give you plus one um, HP straight away. So that's that's quite handy. That's quite good. Um, so Squirtle is not the only one that does that. Obviously, there's a lot of Pokemon that gives you that gives off one um, one EV. So um, they could be very helpful. Unfortunately, like it said though, put it back here. You can only get these um, unless you trade with someone. Um, but you have to wait till you've beaten the game to get to the um, Battle Frontier or Battle Park to buy them for 16 battle points each. So they are costly, but then they are helpful. Um, the Macho Brace. Um, the Macho Brace lowers the hold of speed, um, but doubles the amount of EVs gained after battle. So, to put it quite simply, if you give it to a, a Pikachu, then its Pikachu will be um, the speed of the Pikachu will be lowered, so obviously you'll be slow in battle. But then, if say you take out a Squirtle, then and the Squirtle usually gives off one defense. If Pikachu is holding the Macho Brace, the Squirtle will give off two defense. So, um, so that's quite handy. Um, again for EV training. Next up is EXP share. Um, now any Pokemon gaining EXP or XP um, will also gain EVs. So if your Pokemon is holding the EXP share, or you have turned on on newer games, because in the um, for this. Who don't know? I'm sure anyone who's watching this does know, but for those who don't know, quickly go through in the old games. Um, only one Pokemon could hold the EV, um, the XP share, whereas in Pokemon X and Y, and then probably the future Pokemon games, um, will mean so you just turn it on and off. Um, so with that said, um, whoever's holding the XP share, or if you have it turned on, they will also gain EVs as well as the XP. The EVs don't get cut in half either, um, so again, that's very handy. So you could be, so you could um, have a, an aggro and then I don't know, hold the EXP share, watch your battle, um, I don't know, Blissey or something. Then aggro will also get plus three EVs for HP as well, so that's quite handy. Um, I think this is the last one now, which is Poke Rust. Now, Poke, um, Poke Rust is a virus a Pokemon can catch. Nothing bad that will crash your game and make it corrupt. It's not a glitch either. It's something that's actually in the game. It's an in-game illness that a Pokemon can catch randomly where it will gain double the amount of EVs gained from battle. So um, you could just find it one day that you just go into your PC, go out, take a Pokemon out and it's got the um, illness Pokerus. Um, and that means it will gain double the amount of EVs it would normally get from a battle. So again, that's quite handy. Um, when the virus um, goes, the Pokemon will still gain double the amount of EVs from um, battle. Um, also, again, on this website, there's a um, there's a um, what's it called example here. So I'm just going to read the example out so you can just quickly um, maybe picturize what, how much EVs you can get. So it says battling a Luxio gives you two attack EVs. With the Pokerus, it is doubled to four. If it is holding the Matcha Brace. It is quadrupled to eight. If it's holding the power weight, you'd normally get you'd normally gain four HP and two attack EVs. But the Pokerus is doubled to eight HP and four attack. And of course, if it is holding the power bracer, you'd normally get a huge twelve EVs for one battle. So um, they all calculate up together. So if you have a full team of Pokerus pe um, Pokemon, um, and you have all these the power bands and all these different items you can use. Your Pokemon is going to gain a lot of EVs. Um, so again, that's very, very helpful. Now, EV reducing berries. 
This is the only thing in the game I know of, or I could find, that actually reduce EVs. Um, now you might, like I said, they might sound stupid, as you can see there, um, on the screen, but it could actually, it could actually be quite helpful. Because if you, if you trained up your Pokemon to be um, fast and defensive, but then you realize actually now I want it to be, um, I don't know, regular special defensively and have more HP, you can actually reduce the EVs and then gain them back on a different stat. Um, these berries can be found from the Berry Master's house in Route 208. I'm, I'm guessing, I'm just guessing there. I don't, I'm guessing they're in all the Berry Masters, like in all the games, but again, I, I'm not too sure, so don't take my word for that. These are what they look like. They've got the Pomeg Berry, um, Calypsi Berry, Quallock Berry, Honju Berry, Grepper Berry, and Tomato Berry. Um, the Pomeg Berry um, lowers HP, um, Calypsi Berry lowers attack. Wallop Berry lowers defense, Honju Berry lowers special attack, Grepper Berry lowers special defense, and Tomato Berry lowers speed. Um, other beneficial uses of EVs. So, um, gaining EVs for your Pokemon also raises their happiness. So, feeding your Pokemon lots of vitamins will actually help to increase its happiness. This would be helpful when you need a certain Pokemon like Espion or Umbreon to evolve from happiness. So, although it's, um, it's a common use, to raise happiness is having um, feeding them like vitamins, um, things they like, because it, it helps build them up stronger. So I'm guessing then wings might be able to help it. Again, I'm guessing, not sure. But um, yeah, gaining EVs will raise the Pokemon's happiness. So for Pokemon that needs to evolve from happiness, um, gaining EVs for it is quite helpful. And that's it. Awesome. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Again, the link. To the um to the website that I got a lot of the information from will be in the description below. Um, if there's anything I left out or you think I was wrong about or anything like that, leave a comment below and I'll reply to you. And we can just talk it out or whatever. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope this has helped. I hope this has helped people who was confused by EVs. Um, I hope I hope you can understand them slightly more now. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time for another Pokemon video. Goodbye. Just a quick note, sorry. I did actually forget to uh, mention about Pokemon abilities. Now, um, I'm going to have it on the screen. And I'm going to have the um, description of the Pokemon abilities um, on there. But I'm just going to quickly go through them real, um, real quick. My voice. And I'll just set some music. And you can just read it for yourself. So listen to my quick boring voice. So, the way Pokemon ability... Um, not abilities, um, natures work, sorry. <laughs> um, is that um, each nature represents a different EV growth. So you, um, you could find one nature raises attack, but then lowers special attack. So you could have, um, I'm not, I, so if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't actually have anything about natures on me right now. I just wanted to add this in real quick. Um, basically, uh, one like you, know, you can get a nature where it would increase. Um, the Pokemon's um, attack and growth with EVs, whereas the special attack won't um, actually grow that much compared to attack. And then it does for defense instead of speed, or speed instead of attack. It does all of them. So on the screen right now, I'm gonna have all of the um, natures on there with what grows and what sh what doesn't grow, what decreases and such. Um, okay, I'll put some music back on now while well, it's been playing anyway. And yeah, so I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, honestly, please leave a like. Um, it lets me know if you enjoyed the videos or not. And yeah, see you next time for another video. Goodbye.